Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, exponential equation uh, 7 power x plus y whole square divided by 7 power x minus y whole square equals to 343. And now we are going to find the value of x times y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now let's recall the quotient uh, rule of exponents. We are going to apply it uh, on the left hand side of this equation. So therefore the left hand side could be written as 7 power x plus y whole square minus x minus y whole square equals to 343 on the right hand side. And now let's focus on this whole exponent of 7. And here I have copied it down. And now let's recall this identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. I'm going to apply it on this uh, binomial. So therefore this could be written as x square plus uh, 2 times xy plus uh, y square minus. Uh, and now let's recall another identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square. I'm going to apply it uh, on this binomial now. So I'm going to put a parenthesis and I'm going to write down x square minus 2 times xy plus y square. And now let's go ahead and distribute this negative sign. So therefore we are going to have x square plus 2 times xy plus y square minus x square plus 2 times xy minus y square. And here we can see x square and x square is gone. This y square and this negative y square is gone as well. So we are simply ended up with 2xy plus 2xy is going to give us 4xy. So therefore we can see that this whole thing has been simplified to 4 times xy. So therefore I'm going to replace this whole thing by this 4 times xy. Therefore the left hand side could be written as 7 power 4 times xy equals to and now let's focus on 343 this could be written as 7 power 3 so therefore right hand side become 7 power 3 and now we can see our bases on both sides are same so therefore we can equate our exponents as well so therefore we can write 4 times xy equals to 3 now let's divide both sides by 4 to isolate x times y. So this 4 and 4 is gone. So x times y turns out to be 3 divided by 4. So thus our x times y value turns out to be 3 divided by 4. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.